Thank you. Love you. I just woke up from a nap in that nice little bumpy truck ride. We're walking into a parking lot that you might not recognize because I'm walking in at the other angle. We're going into Dr. Hatch's office and we just drove home from family camp. This morning we were literally up at family camp. Two nights ago I messaged my doctor and said, I want to do the transfer next cycle, so this cycle while we're taking it off, should I do the hysteroscopy? She said, come in, like right now. <laughs> She said, come in tomorrow. So, I know a lot of you have seen the live hysteroscopy video. If you haven't, I'll link that in the description below. It's amazing, because I've had to do them under anesthesia before, and now I could just do them in office. But I woke up half hour ago, took four ibuprofen. So now, let's get in and see how this goes. Um, what was I gonna tell you? Oh, real life story right now. We got a little bit behind on videos, so it looks like our month off between doing IVF to us doing the transfer is kind of a short period of time, but you're gonna enjoy that because we can do the transfer soon, but for us, it's been, it'll be a whole cycle. Right now, I'm two weeks into this month off cycle. Is that good? That's perfect. I am so tired. You're so tired. I'm so tired. It hurts. I'm so tired. Talk to us about what we're doing. Okay, so this is called Close the, door. the Don't touch that blue. I barely touched it. No, your tush. I... No, your tush. No, you can't touch it. Okay. My tush so touched it. Is what you're about to say? This is the hysteroscopy procedure. So I don't know all the reasons why you would have it done, but for me, I am. It's like cleaning out before doing a transfer. So. It could be diagnostic, and a lot of times it's done in the OR under anesthesia. But then, your doctor gets this handy dandy little kit, and you can do it in office. If you find something crazy, of course, then you would have to like go into the OR and like make sure everything's okay. So she described it last time as like, imagine it like a very, very minor, gentle version of a DNC. So a DNC is like a big, huge lawnmower, just like getting all the leaves whereas a hysteroscopy is like going in with a rake with the leaves and putting them gently into a bag does that make sense does that's that actually, make sense that's actually an incredible analogy good i'm glad and for those that feel like that's a bit callous uh we've been there we love you we're so sorry you've been through what you're going through i'm sorry yeah. for the lawnmower in your life if you no, have i don't mean anything about no, the I, know, I know i know that. i just I know mean that. no i told that's you. the that's, that's what, what i'm here to buff it. i'm here to buffer in case anybody's like oh gosh that was harsh it's not supposed to be yeah. It's our whole vlog is supposed to lighten the mood of infertility. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> and I'm really tired. And she's really tired. Uh, hi friends, we've missed you. Uh, yes, as Alex said, we had uh, a few days at camp, family camp, and it was one vlog. We're back into this. I knew we were doing it this cycle. I mean, I knew we were doing IVF. Or it's technically next cycle, which just feels like now you understand what women feel like. It's just an eternity away. He would like to do the transfer tomorrow so we can get this done. Now I, you understand what all everybody feels like. I get you, ladies. I get you. Okay, but for real, let's... <laughs> we have sold everything. Everything. We have moved our entire lives into an RV. And this is the RV. It's going to go along the screen right now. Yeah. And hitting the road yeah. and coming to meet you guys, launching our nonprofit more and exciting things coming with mm -hmm. that. What was I saying? I don't know. She's really tired, though. So the whole entire journey that we've been on is infertility oh my gosh miraculous adoptions back into the infertility game why we want a big family we want to continue to multiply our love i feel like god's called us to be parents of a lot of kids and this boring man will be behind the camera from now on and you will get to see her and the lady parts and all the other stuff that goes inside i'm excited to tell you how it goes this time last time out of everything i've gone through for the most part it's like yeah. on the top of like most uncomfortable mm -hmm. But it was um, uh, too graphic, so let's let's go through the video and then I'll explain it at the end for those of you who want to know all the gory little details. Just wait till the end. And I'll break it down in a friendly way. It's called Baby Shark. Anyway, friends, our channel uses our family and our journey to encourage you for yours. And so we hope that if you guys have come here for the very first time, thank you so much. We have been documenting our infertility and adoption journeys for three years now through the highs and the lows, the highest highs and the absolute lowest lows. Um, and we do it with optimism and faith that God has a plan and a purpose for us and for you. And so, here we go. They're pulling the endo out, aren't they? No. Isn't that what this is? That's not what this is. Oh, I thought they were taking the endometriosis out. No. What are they? Oh, 
oh, they're just cleaning you so that when it, the, the, the embryo goes in, it just attaches really quickly. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing here. Sorry, we've been through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? And the harder that I rub. Oh yeah, what do you see? Do you I see, see X's? X's? Do you see stars? Have you guys ever done that? Like, how? Everybody stop for a minute and just start rubbing your eyes. Oh, it's probably not good for you. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, your eyes. If comments down below if you think, uh, one, this is the greatest feeling ever. Oh. Also, if it's bad for you and you're an optometrist, let me know. Alex. Yeah. Can we get on with this show? It's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> also, our RV is not here. It's. A couple blocks away. A couple blocks away. <laughs> this spray doesn't get stolen. High five for that. If <laughs> you want, don't get me in it. I won't. <laughs> um, go ahead and lift the bottom up. Okay. Oh, that's now. What is this for? It fills me up like Thoughts, feelings, hope. Are we using the speculum right now? Yeah, no, that's fine. It's the all the pressure all together. So I'm just putting some beta dye in here. Mm -hmm. Isn't it unbelievable that you can do this? in an office versus having to go to a surgery center. It's nice not having to go under anesthesia for kind of... Yeah. I don't know. It feels simple to me, but... I mean, the things I've done here are amazing. That looks like it's from <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> Thankfully it's not. I'm, yeah. All right, lights off. It's been almost every transfer. Talking about all your friends that have had babies when they, you transferred the same time. Yeah, where we were like, yeah, conceiving at the same time. I think you've handled it so well, though. Like, I think it's so easy to get bitter, but I think you've gotten better. It's just now that Callie's turning three next month, I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. This is really taking a lot longer than we thought. Yep. How do you feel? Oh, fine. I did it last time, too. <clears throat> you in pain? Mm, just pressure. So you can feel it. Here we are. Here we are. Gorgeous, actually. This room looks much healthier. Go ahead and take a picture of too. There's one, two. A little bit of stuff in there. Not much. The other two. There's the other two. Come in. Okay, so I'm going to just like clean this little stuff up right here. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling this at all? Mm -hmm. Usually the pain comes from going in the cervix. Like but cramp. again, I've gotten to know how tipped you are. So see, I'm just trying to clean up these little spots. Yeah. A little bit of like irregular tissue, mm -hmm. like yeah, old blood. There's no polyps. It's a little scratching part. Mm -hmm. There, got one. There's a little bit of blood. So that. We're almost done. You doing okay? Yeah. I feel like you did this a lot longer last time. There's a lot more. She last. had there a was lot more pathology. So much. Yeah, she had a lot more pathology going on. Plus, yeah, well like, done. What's really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And that's just enough scratching to get the yeah. embryo to stick. Oh yeah, totally. But her uterus is really, it goes up. You caught me by surprise last time, mm -hmm. so this time I already had a plan in place before you even walked in the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can sit up if you feel comfortable for you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was so quick. Yeah. Why was it I, so complicated last time? Well, too. Um, last time I remember <laughs> looking on the screen and mm -hmm. it was like, you brown everywhere. It just looks like I, but which I didn't know was abnormal, mm -hmm. but Good. it was like just, black yeah, dots it, it like, everywhere. Like patches. She's much healthier now. That's kind of what I expected. But then second of all, I was more prepared for her uterus being really tipped. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I had already strategized yesterday what I was going to do on you today. <laughs> okay. And it worked. Yeah. That that's great. amazing. I know. That was so easy. That was incredible. <laughs> Do you even feel in pain? Like you didn't wince once. No, I told you. It's just pressure of that a little bit, but it's like having like like minor period cramps, like so minimal. That's so cool. Timeline so that I understand. In two weeks she starts her period. Yeah, it's about right. Then we wait. Three weeks, two and a half weeks. Yeah, it's 14 days of estrogen. Mm -hmm. The 15th day we start the progesterone. Mm -hmm. And then it's like five, Five to seven days after that. Exactly. Forget that it wasn't painful, right? The pain, the pain would have been like, okay, whatever. That's a tolerance thing. Yeah. You were clear. Like, how cool no, is that? that? that she looked so much she better. She was so that. good, and I'm you've like, been eating so much yeah. chocolate. I know. I eat garbage now. <laughs> okay, so your job right now is to just get excited. Okay, I'm nervous. Yeah, I need her excited. You've never known if you're 
Yeah, if you're if 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 your embryos are genetically normal, yeah. right? So like right. you're going into this, There's a lot of you're going into this with yeah. so much peace of mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the best shot. So you so you have to you have to be able to be more positive than last time. But it was brutal. But I do also we're here. think it's okay to be guarded. Mm-hmm. I, I just there's, you know exactly. fall apart exactly if something exactly happen, which yeah. I'm we're pretty good at yeah yeah. But. You're an expert in grief, and you're not going to have to go there again. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're just going to be able to be there for others. Okay. If he's like so, I'll take it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah. Good. You're so good. This is going to work. This is going to be great. Mm-hmm. It's not too far off. Nope. I can too much Okay. See you guys later. Only you could see. Don't you know that you're beautiful?